Welcome to the Half Arsed Heresy. I thought I'd do a video on simple bases. When I got back into 40k a few, well, probably a year ago now, I had no clue about basing. My models would just be painted and be on a black base like that. I don't mind the neatness of it, but I wanted to step it up a bit. So this was my first homemade attempt. I used some IKEA sand from some vase thing that the missus had. It was all right, but I wasn't too happy with it. And then I moved on to something like this which is what I'm going to be working on today, a sort of moon base type situation. I like that. That was with some simple ingredients and paints, and that's the one I'm working on today. Excuse the pausing because I haven't figured out the editing software yet. Here we go. What we'll need is some kitty litter, which I stash in an empty pot. Luckily, we do have a cat, so that wasn't hard to come by. Clean, of course. Some astro granite, mechanicus grey, celestra grey, Super glue, a base, some cork, two brushes, a wrecked one for your astro granite because I think that is not good to use a normal brush on, and a craft knife. First things first, take your cork and slice into some triangular chunks I find. Make sure there's a flat edge that you can place in various situations on there. Think of the old Star Trek series when they used those rocks in California, something like that. That's what you're aiming for, I think, is the, the best look. And I'll put two of those on. You can put as many as you want, I suppose, but two is enough, I think. Always plan it out to suit your miniature. So I'll, I'm not sticking this one on. This is just for a tester. Look where his legs are going to go and plan as according to how he's standing. I usually put the smaller one behind and the larger one to the front. Before you glue it down, make sure it's going to fit like that. And then you use super glue to glue those down. While that's drying, select your kitty little chunks that you're going to want. Get a nice little mix in your hand. I usually take two or three larger chunks. And then these smaller ones, when we're all done, I'll just sprinkle above and then tip them back in. A bit like you used to do glitter when you were a kid. One thing I will say is when you're gluing the rocks on, try and glue them to each other on more than one side. So you glue them to the base and each other. That way when you're brushing them later on, there's less chance of them falling off, if that makes sense. I'll get that to zoom in. There we go. There we have the thumb bit then. And wait for it to dry. So I'll be back in five minutes. Now we add some Astro Granite just to smooth out the joins. Again, leave the centre open so you've got room for your figure. We used a bit too much cat litter here, I think. I think it'll still be alright, but it's more than I would usually use. And use that brush, because you can see that's my Astro Granite brush, and that's what it ends up looking like after about two or three applications. So we wait for that to dry. While waiting for that to dry, a future project, uh, a piece of slate I found on the floor, looked quite good. I figured on a larger base with someone like the old, what's his name, Lord of Contagion, that's it. I think he would look kind of cool standing as if on a rock. But then I saw the Typhus model coming soon, so maybe I'll save it for him. But always look around for stuff that might be good for bases, I find. Mm. it's all good now that it's dry completely cover it with mechanicus grey everything the cork the lot be quite liberal with it because you don't want anything showing other than the actual grey and i'll do a little bit more before pause it make sure you cover it because the cork will soak it up so just make sure you double check after you've done your first layer that everything's covered and keep going till it's all done and finally we're going to dry brush this with celestra grey base i use this which we'll probably call my basing brush now i'll use it for everything you can dry brush quite heavily because it's only a base and you want it to have a, a good effect check on the side now that's too much <clears throat> i assume you all know about just do that on the side so you can tell how it, how much it's going to put on on this side of the base 
starting at the top through the edges. I'm wishing this because it is just a quick and basic way of doing a quick base I find. Right, so Luke, let's get the light in and there we go. Simple moon style base. I'll tidy up the edges with Abaddon Black. And that's basically it. Bear with me. So I'd quickly video it. Just quickly. Around the edge. I'd usually take a bit more time. But I don't want this vid these videos to last 400 years. Get that all the way around. Until it's done. And there we have it. A simple sort of moon base style one. Minimal um, parts needed, super glue, cat litter, a bit of cork, and stuff you should have already had with Conquest, and that's it. It's basic, but it's what I, I've done with a few bases that look kind of okay. What I used for him. Let me just sort this lighting out. There we go. Also used it on one of my favourite models, this Terminator. And I did use it on this as well, but obviously that's a bit more complex. I'll be showing that in another video, how I did the base of that and had a, a pool with a pox walk coming out of it. That's about it really, I think the base is an underrated part of the process. Thanks for watching.